Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today is a very special video. It is a melting basket for my birthday week, which I am so, so, so excited about. So pretty much what I went ahead and did was that I went through all of my wax collection and picked out anything with um, the birthday cake note or like a similar note, like confetti cake, which I kind of counted as birthday cake. Um, and I went ahead and put it all in this basket over here. So I'm going to go through everything. I do have a couple of ones that do not have um, birthday cake and I will explain why. But let's just go ahead and get started. So I'm just going to reach from the top and see what comes out. Um, so this first one here is from Sassy Girl Aroma. I got this in a D-stash. I think over the summer it's been a while um and it's from 2020 so i do want to get through this and i think i should be able to i only have like a couple of cubes well not a couple but like eight cubes left so this is strawberry banana zucchini birthday so it's sweet strawberry ripe bananas with creamy zucchini and moist frosted birthday cake and i'm actually melting this right now throughout my house and it is it is truly a very delicious scent. It smells very authentically like strawberry banana. Um, and you do get that like creamy zucchini. I don't get much birthday cake, but I do get like the bakery component that um, could be coming from the zucchini or the birthday. But either way, I really like this and I think it was kind of a perfect when to just kind of kickstart a weekend morning for me. So I think I should be able to get through this. So I'm just gonna put that over there. And then, um, actually I'll do it by vendor. I know I have a couple of other sacks this, so. The next one that I have is also from, actually I think it was from that same D stash. It was like a zucchini D stash. So this is in Garcia. It's sugar cookie, zucchini, and birthday. And I pretty much have this whole thing left. And I think I actually have another full one, but my goal is to just get through one of them. I'm not sure when this is from. There is no um, date that the person got, got this. The person that I purchased from did not mark when they got it. But um, yeah, I mean, this smells like, I get the birthday cake and zucchini pretty equally in this. And like, I do get like a hint of sugar cookie actually. So I'm excited to melt this. I've heard a lot of great things about Garcia. So um, I think it will be a good one. And then my last Sassy Girl Aroma was one that I purchased um, directly from her several months ago now. This is Smurfs in the Kitchen, and this has, so her in the kitchen blend is marshmallow cookies, birthday cake Twinkies, and vanilla fudge butter, and then the Smurfs part is, is just um, that this is with blueberries. So um, because her in the kitchen blend has the birthday cake, I went ahead and included it in this um, melting basket. And this to me smells like blueberry waffles, which just takes me back because I remember in high school and actually probably in middle school, oops, sorry, I just moved my tripod there. When I would get ready for school, I would just pop a blueberry waffle in the toaster and then like I would get ready and then I would just put that in a paper towel and take that with me and kind of like eat it on the bus and then finish it once I got to school so um this just smells to me exactly like a warm blueberry eggo waffle so if you've ever smelled that then that's what this smells like so I am excited to melt that okay Next up, I've got one thing, I think, from Lurid. This, I also got, a lot of my stuff is from D-Sashes, so I'm sorry, I'm going to be saying that a lot. This is from a D-Sash. It's a giant bag from June. I didn't follow Lurid back then, so I don't know, like, when she released it, but 
It's called Lurid Birthday, and it's birthday cake, sweet frosting, and tea and cake. And I have melted this before, and it's absolutely delicious. And it has got, sorry, the bag is kind of gross, but it has got the most beautiful color combination. And it smells delicious. So you definitely get tea and cakes first. I don't really get birthday cake straight up. I kind of get like a very sweet bakery tea and cakes, um, but like if I didn't know that it had birthday cake and sweet frosting and if I just melted it, I would think that it was just a tea and cakes blend, which by the way, I don't mind because I absolutely love tea and cakes. So this is a really great one that I'm excited about and hopefully it can make a dent in it. I don't think I'll be able to finish that because it is a very big bag. Um, next up I've got L3, so I've just got the Susan the Gentle, which is Soothing Lavender, Birthday Cake, and Strawberry Jam. This was a pack of four fluted tarts, I believe, and I have melted this several times before in my bedroom and in my bathroom, and it's really good. I mostly get the strawberry jam, I don't really get the birthday cake. I get strawberry jam mixed with like a hint of the lavender. So um, yeah, I'm hoping that I can get through. I don't know if I'll get through all of it actually, but I'm gonna try to. And I think this will be a good one since it has lavender in it um, to use at night. I don't know if I have any other lavender birthday cake. Actually, I think I do, Never mind. But whatever, I'm gonna try to get through that. Um, Next up, I've got a Southbound one. Um, it's a clam, and these colors are so pretty. This is like a beautiful chartreux. Um, so this is Blue Hawaiian Birthday, and it's Blue Hawaiian, which is basically like a fruit punch scent with delicious birthday cake. Oh, I love this color so much. It's so pretty. Um, there it is. And to me, this smells like a, like, sweeter fruit punch. A sweeter, creamy fruit punch. And it just makes me think of summer. It's so delicious. So I'm excited to warm this. It's definitely more appropriate for the summertime, but I, I feel like I want to get through this because it smells so good. Um, next up. I will actually do this other, my only other clam. So this is not birthday cake, but this is the one that I plan to melt on my actual birthday because I love it so much. So this is from the bathing garden. It's marzipan princess cake. You guys, this smells like the most delicious um this smells like the most delicious marzipan that's really what i get um it just smells like oh my gosh it makes my mouth water it just smells like marzipan and i am so excited to melt this on my actual birthday day i figured because it's like marzipan princess cake that it was like birthday themed enough and it's got a beautiful little um charm thing there and um i really didn't want to melt this because i love it so much but for her valentine's day collection she did have something similar it wasn't exactly like this but it was a marzipan thing so i went ahead and got that so i'm hoping it will be a close um scent to this all right next up i have got this from fantasy wax it's a little scent shot um, in happy birthday, and this is just vanilla, buttercream, and powdered sugar. This I actually got last year with the intention to melt on my birthday, but I was not in a good place last year at this time, and I was also working in the inpatient wards, and I was just really miserable, and I totally forgot and didn't really celebrate my birthday last year. So I figured I want to melt this one, and it's really cute with some little sprinkles. I cut it in half. 
So the smell of this is not my favorite, to be honest. It smells very much like buttercream, like a buttercream frosting that's very strong on the butter. So it makes me just a little bit queasy. I don't remember it smelling this buttery last year, but um, I am gonna go ahead and try to melt it because it's getting older. Oh, sorry, I forgot. I have this from Southbound as well. So this is in Dream Cake, which is orange cream skull birthday cake topped with lavender whipped cream. So this is my other lavender melt and it's got some purple and orange scents, I mean, not scents, shapes in there. There you go, it's got a little donut. And this is delicious. It smells like a creamsicle with a sweet lavender. I don't get birthday cake in it, but I definitely get those other two scents in it. So I have not melted this yet. I got it in a D stash, so I'm excited to melt this at night. Okay, then I've got this scent shot cup in from Mid Midnight Daydream Wax Co. This is the confetti Oreo donut, which is glazed donuts, homemade cookies, and confetti cake. I figured confetti cake was an okay um, substitution for birthday cake. And this is good. It smells like donuts. That's kind of all I got. It really just smells like a very sweet glazed donut. Um, I have not melted much of my Midnight Daydream Wax Co. So I really wanted to pick something from that vendor to try and use up some of that wax. So that is why I chose that. Okay, and then we've got a random little snap bar from Villainous. This is their very villainous birthday, which I think was on their like shop anniversary. So this is birthday cake, buttercream frosting, and crushed pink sugar cookie topping. I think I actually won this in a giveaway now that I think about it. And this was a little bit light. I remember it smelling really good when I first got it a few months ago. And it just says you're someone worth melting for and it's really pretty. A little bit discolored in some places, but doesn't bother me. This smells really light to me right now, but I smell like a slightly sweet pink sugary kind of a scent, but I think hopefully it'll come out a little bit more on warm. Okay, next up I have got some Teddy Bees. So this first one here is um, a little sample that I got from AD Stash. It's Teddy Bees, Tiff's favorite birthday cake and strawberry pound cake. Um, I'm not sure the exact scent notes, but I'm assuming it's a birthday cake and a strawberry pound cake. I don't really get strawberry pound cake, to be honest. This also smells really light to me, like a very slight bakery. I don't, I can't even like really make out birthday cake specifically, but we'll see how it does on warm. Then I've got this souffle in Sweetheart Cookies, which is pink sugar, frosted sugar cookies, shortbread, birthday cake, and sweet milk. That's what that looks like. Definitely pink sugar heavy. Yeah, it smells like pink sugar and bakery. So I'm excited to melt that. I have not melted much Teddy Bees, but her pre-order is coming up this Friday. So I am excited to see what I might pick up from that. Next up, I've got this chunk bag from them in Witches Be Crazy for Blueberries. This is birthday cake, pecan waffle, sugar cookie dough, a pinch of cinnamon, spiced vanilla, blended with sweet blueberries. And this is good. It smells like pumpkin pecan waffles. And I get like a very slight hint of blueberries. I 
like just right at the end I get like a sniff, a slight sniff of blueberries, but definitely not strong like that other, oh, this one, like Smith's in the kitchen. That is blueberry heavy. This is like, I almost like wouldn't even pick it up if I didn't know that blueberries were in there. Kind of the light, that's how light the blueberry is to me, but we shall see how that does on warm. All right. The last vendor I have is Rose Girls. I have the most from her. The first thing I'm just going to get out of the way is because I don't have any coffee scents with birthday cake, which, hello, does that exist? If not, it totally should. Um, I just pulled out the Rose Girls coffee sampler because I love the sampler so much. I figured it was okay to just have this in my melting basket to turn to if I am craving a coffee blend. Um... And I could just like start using some of these up, but none of these are like birthday cake scented at all. But that is like my only like non-birthday cake thing. The rest of these Rose Girls blends do have birthday cake. So I'll start with the smaller shapes. So I got two of these, which is pumpkin pecan waffles and birthday cake. This was from her Halloween slash fall sampler. Oh my gosh, I don't smell anything for this one. This, I thought, was definitely not the case when I first got it. Oh my gosh, is my nose just playing games on me right now? I don't really smell anything. But I remember when I first got this, this smelled to me equal parts like pumpkin pecan waffles and birthday cake. I think I get like a slight bit of the pumpkin pecan waffles. Hopefully I will be able to sniff, sniff it on warm, but um, as of right now, I don't really smell that, unfortunately. Um, next I have one chunk muffin in Lulu tracks, which is banana cream pie, fresh picked strawberries, birthday cake, and marshmallow smoothie. Um, I'm so excited that I will finally get to melt this. That's what that looks like. It is so cute. This was in her like Mario pre-order and RTS this year or like a few weeks ago, literally. I didn't pick it up then because I hadn't yet actually melted this one chunk muffin that I have. So I'm going to be really sad if I end up loving this and that I didn't get more, but that's okay. It'll come around. So for me, Right now, I'm actually picking up the fresh picked strawberries first, which is interesting. And it almost smells a little bit medicinal cough syrupy mixed with the banana cream pie, but we'll see how it does on warm. I definitely get the banana cream pie though. But yeah, we'll see how that does finally. Um, next up, I just have a couple of chunks left of Goodnight Moon. This is Pink Sugar Sweet Lavender Peppermint and Birthday Cake. This is a phenomenal blend. I'm kind of kicking myself that I did not get more of this during her most recent RTS because I truly do love it. I get peppermint and pink sugar first, and then you get like that sweet lavender birthday cake in the background. It's really good, so I know that I will for sure be able to finish this up. And next, I've got Cake by the Ocean. And I don't have the scent notes right off the bat. But this is her, like, Florida Key Lime Pie, Strawberry Jam, I think, and then, like, Birthday Cake. And this is delicious. It just smells, it kind of makes my mouth water. It smells like the key lime pie and like a fruity like juice with this sweet bakery. Excited for that. And then next I got this in her most recent RTS, Buttermint Birthday Cake. And the colors are stunning. Look at this pink, you guys. It's just the most beautiful, sweet rose pink. And this is exactly that. It's a buttermint birthday cake. So I am excited. Look how big this um, 
mini melter is, but it's much thinner. But yeah, I am really excited about this. And I get Buttermint and Birthday Cake in this, so excited. I'm probably going to use that at night throughout my house. And then last but not least, the only um, Mario Melter that I have with Birthday Cake was Birdo's Magical Cupcake Land. And this is Raspberry Sauce, Strawberry Jam, and Birthday Cake. And this is so yummy. Yeah, you totally get the raspberry sauce and the strawberry, but it's not like super strong on the strawberry, which I like because I'm a little bit tired of strawberry jam. And you get that like birthday cake bakery to kind of tie it together and it's really yummy. Super delicious. So that is it for my birthday week melting basket. I am hoping to get through quite a few of these um, just to, you know, start making some moves on clearing out some more of my wax. Um, and some of these scents I am so excited for. I think the most excited I am is for Mulu Track. Um, oops, sorry. Probably Blue Hawaiian Birthday just because I just want something different and I think this is it obviously this one which i'm saving for my actual birthday like my birthday um and then yeah i would say those are like my top most exciting ones that i'm looking forward to i really hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know what you guys are melting and i'll see you next time bye